Hi guys, welcome to Maths with Asunoku. In this video, we'll be learning how to solve quadratic equation using completing square method. We use completing square method to solve quadratic equation where the given quadratic equation is not factorizable. The name completing the square method is coined because we are trying to complete or to make the quadratic equation a perfect square so that we can now factorize. So the first thing we are going to do to the quadratic equation is first to make the coefficient of the x squared unity. That is to make it to be 1. And to do that, we have to divide each term in the quadratic equation by the coefficient of what? x squared. And that is 6x squared divided by 6. Then plus, the next term is 11x. So you have 11x divided by 6 plus the next term is 3. You have 3 divided by 6 and this equals to 0 over 6. Then when you divide by 6, you have the quadratic to be x squared, then plus 11x over 6, plus if you divide 3 by 6, you are going to get 1 over 2 and it's equals to 0. Then the next stage is to go to the constant. The constant here is 1 over 2. It crosses the equality sign to become negative. Or you say minus 1 over 2 from both sides. So you have it that x squared plus 11x over 6 is equal to minus 1 over 2. Then we are done. The next stage is now to go to the middle term. The middle term is a bit tricky, but what we have to do is the coefficient of the x, we have to divide it by 2 and square whatever we get. The reason why we are doing that is to make this right hand side a perfect quadratic, if you talk of this side, expression. So the, the, the given coefficient of x here is 11 over 6. So we have to divide it by 2, which is multiplying by 1 over 2. Then we square whatever we got. 11 times 1 is 11. You have it as 11 over 6 times 2 is 12. You have it as 12 all squared. Okay? Then since we've gotten this, we have to add it to the right hand side and also to the left hand side. So we have it as x squared plus 11x over 6 plus 11 over 12 all squared is equal to minus 1 over 2 plus 11 over 12 all squared. Observe, this part now is now a perfect quadratic expression, just this part. Now you can now see to factorize this is simple. You open up the two brackets. The variable here is x. You put down the x. Then plus the new item you added, 11 over 12. All squared is equal to minus 1 over 2. Then let's expand this. 11 squared, the power will affect the numerator and also the denominator. 11 squared is 121, and 12 squared is 144. At this stage, you see we have x plus 11 over 12, all squared is equal to, in a common denominator, we still have it to be 144. So when 2 divides 144, you have it as what? 72. Then, since it has times minus 1, it becomes minus 72 plus 144 divide itself, you have it as 1, and 1 times 121 is 121. So you have it as x plus 11 over 12, all squared is equal to 49 over 144. Okay, the next thing, since we have the square, we have to take the square root of both sides. If you take the square root of both sides, it gives a positive and a negative solution. 
the square and the square root will be out. You have x plus 11 over 12 is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 49 is 7 and square root of 144 is 12. Meaning that x is equal to uh, uh, plus 7 over 12 for the positive solution. Plus 11 over 12 crossing the quality sign, it becomes 11 or minus 11 over 12. That means if you are doing that, you see that x is equals to minus the numerator. You have it as minus 4 over 12. 4 is 1, 4 is 3. You have it as minus 1 over 3. x is when it is minus, you have it as x plus uh, 11 over 12 is equal to minus 7 over 12. So when this crosses, it becomes negative. You have the x is equal to minus 7 over 12 minus 11 over 12. And that will be the x is equal to, uh, they have a minus, you just have 12. 7 plus 7 minus 7 minus Minus 7 minus 11 is minus 18. So here you see that 4 will divide to get, sorry, 2 will divide to get 6. Or rather, 6 will divide to get 3. 6 will divide to get, 6 will divide to get 2. 6 will divide to get 3. So you see that x is also minus 3 over 2. And that is the solution. So 